I was also thinking that a profile is, is, is such a familiar uh, basic pattern that there are all these variations of um, that perhaps when you would hear, if we really listen, we'll hear that. That's the sound of a profile. <laughs> and I thought that we're so familiar with this pattern that maybe when hearing it, you'd have a subliminal sense of a face and that that face would almost have a ghost presence um, that you would recall the presence of somebody by playing the tune of their particular profile. Um, so that was the idea I was working with. And, and uh, at first I, I asked someone who was working with computers back then, and, uh, and um, he said, you, you don't just feed a profile into a computer and come out with a tune. You have to have a um, program, and it's, it's very complicated to do it. So, um, so I, I went to some stores where I could find a little motor, and I went to a store where I could find some rollers for printers, and, and uh, I got hammer and nails and, and made that machine that's sitting on the table or on the platform that very slowly rolls these, the, these profiles that I had drawn. It slowly rolls past. And um, I can trace the profile with this slide whistle. Um, there's also a single tone um, that on the score is a line, and it's um, a tone that, that I recorded that just, it's sort of a medium, it's not very high, it's not very low, but it stays constant, and so that's the zero tone. And um, so there's this relationship between this point of reference and this variation of the basic pattern of faces. Um, yeah.